Good morning, happy Friday. Well, by the time some of you guys get it, it'll be Saturday, so. Um, doing a new one today, the Naughty or Nice workout. It is uh, 12 exercises, and we're gonna do it like the 12 days of Christmas. So we're gonna start with one and do number one. Then you go to two, you're gonna do number two and then back to one, you know, cause on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So we're gonna do it that way. So by the time you hit 12, you're gonna do 12, then you're gonna go 11, 10, 9, 8, all the way down to one. Then I have bonus abs and I have another bonus I'll probably put it on a different video. Uh, it's the super intense workout. Uh, Olivia and Maria were asking for something a little bit different. It will be a 30 second rest and a two minute work uh, for this bonus workout. So I'll explain that one later, but we're gonna do the naughty or nice workout. Like I said, we're starting at one. I'm using my sandbag and I also have a set of dumbbells here. And the only thing you'll need maybe is a stability ball for the end for the abdominals you can get through everything though with the with dumbbells or a ball whatever you have so i will have the full breakdown on my video my create or on my um, blog mycrazyworkout.com and uh all you need is a timer we're going to set it for a stopwatch i'm going to set it down i'm going to have to shed my coat it's cold out here this morning i know other people wouldn't think so but it's 52. So once I get moving, I don't think I'll be bad. Um, let me. Okay, going to stopwatch. Looks like that. If you don't have a timer, that's a, a, a gym boss timer. If you just have a kitchen timer, or if you're following along with me, you don't really need a timer. So. Uh, just remember oh, to take breaks when you need to. Modify exercises if you need to. I will give you modifications if you don't want to jump. I'm trying to get my coat off. I put it on. I put my watch on after I had my coat on because it was cold in the house when I got up. Burr. Hit the wrong thing, sorry. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start, like I said, with number one. It is gonna be a sandbag clean and snatch. So not a clean and press, you're gonna literally snatch it overhead, hit the abdominals as well as the legs. So we're gonna start with number one. Oh, my beeper's slow. Don't know why my beeper's slow. Come down, up, one. We're gonna go to two explosive push-ups. So hop into the plank, one, two. Hop up, and then you go. Now we go to three, and we're gonna do double duck burpees. So you're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. Push-up. Up, up, two squats, one, two, three, four. Hop up, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now back to those explosive push ups. One, two, and a snatch. Now four, pendulums, your favorite, Lena. One, two, three, four. Double duck burpees. One, two, walk, two, three, four, push up. This one's two, two, one, two, three, Four. One more. One, two. One, two, three, four. Explosive push ups. One, two, three, four. 
two. Snatch. Now we go to five. Jumping jack with overhead press. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums, four. Each one each leg. One, two, three, four. Double duck burpees. One, two. Now walk it. One, two, three, four. Push up. Here's two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two. One, two, three, four. Explosive push ups. If you don't want to do explosive push ups, you can step out. One, two. Okay? And snatch. Oh. Alrighty. On to six. Plank, toe tap, opposite hand to a frog hop. So we go right, left, frog hop in. Two, frog hop in. Three, four, five, six. Ready for those overhead jumping jacks? Oh, pants are falling down. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums are next. One, two, three, four. Double duck burpees. One, two, now walk it. One, two, three, four. Push up, hop up. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Explosive push ups or walkout push ups. One, two, snatch. You breathing hard? Up and over. Engage that core. Seven, dip with dancing crab. Each leg. Down, one. Two, three, four, five, six, bend those elbows, do that dip, seven, roll over, plank toe taps, tap it, tap it. Frog hop. Bring those feet in close to the hands. Three. Engage that core. Press out of the shoulders. This one's four. Five. Six. Overhead presses are next. Jumping jack. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five, four. Four pendulums. How you guys feeling? Harder than the first, than the beginning of the week. One, two, three, four. Oh. Double duck burpees. Squat it down. One, two. Now walk it. One, two, three, four. Hop it. Push up. Hop up. 
one, two. Walk it, one, two, three, four. One more. One, two, now walk it. One, two, three, four. Explosive push-ups. One, two, and a snatch. We go to eight. Woo! Hovering tuck roll up. You know it. Lay down, legs are open. Roll up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dips, dancing crab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Whoops, we were supposed to do seven, my bad. One, hop in. Two, we're only doing six of these. Three, hop those feet in. Four, five, six, Overhead jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, pendulums. One, two, three, four. Double duck burpees. Squat it. Two, now walk it. One, two, three, four, burpee. Push up. Squat it. One, two. Press that butt back. One, two, three, four. One more. Two squats. Walk it. One, two, three, four. Explosive push ups. Two of those. And a snatch. How you feeling? Oh. We go to nine. Plank jack, frog hop. So you jack, hop. Two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine. Oh. Hovering roll up. Oh. I need this for my tailbone. Oh. One, two. Press that lower back into the floor. Three, four. Six, seven, and eight. Whew. Dips with dancing crab. You ready? Seven of these. You know when we make it to 12, we're gonna start from 12 and work our way back down. Three, four, because we would be imbalanced. Five, 
six, oh, one more, seven, oh. roll it over, one, plank toe touch, roll up, two, press out of the shoulders, three, engage the core, four, Five. Here's six. Whew. Overhead press with that jack. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums. One, two, three. Four. Double duck burpee. Two, two low pulses. One, two, three, four. Hop in, push up, hop up, and turn. One, two, one, two, three, four. One more. One, two, one, two, Three, four. Explosive push ups. Ooh. And a snatch. All righty, ten. Lateral plank jump over the mat. I'm going to put my dumbbells here. They look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Plank jack to frog hop. Jack it. Hop it. One, two, three, four. Hop up. 
One, two. One, two, three, four. Hop up. Explosive push-ups. One, two. Snatch. Okay, dive bombers, 11. Lean on one of your favorites. Gotta get some chest in there and some triceps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Ten. This is a plank jack. Lateral hop. Sorry about that. Lateral hop. Put this down here. Move my dumbbells out of the way. You want to stay low. You're in the plank position. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, plank jack, frog hop. One, two, three. Engage that core. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, hovering crunch, lay down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, dips, dancing crab. Leave the towel there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Engage that core. As you lift those legs up, seven. Woo! Okay, plank toe taps and a frog hop. Right hand, left hand, hop in. Stay in good plank form. Flat back, two, three, four, five. One more. Here's six. Okay. Overhead jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums. Mm, I'm sweating. How about you? One, two, three, four. Ooh, double duck burpee. One, two, now walk it. One, two, three, four. One, two, walk it. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, one, two, three, four. Explosive push ups. And a snatch. Ooh. Now we go to 12. Reverse lunge, kick, switch lunge. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven dive bombers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. You're gonna do the plank hopovers. Plank position. Low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Nine. Oh. Plank toe tap. I think that's right. Nine. Plank or plank jack frog hop. Sorry, my bad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hovering, reverse crunch, roll in. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dips. One, two, three, four. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Dive bombers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, plank hops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, plank jack frog hop, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. I messed up, didn't I? Nine. Whew. I messed up. Oh, you know what that means. We're going from 12 to 11. Sorry about that. One, I got ahead of myself. I was gonna work it all the way down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now you dive bombers. Then we're going back up. One, two, and we do twelve, eleven, ten, three. Four, five, I just gave you a little warm up, a little preview. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, those lunges, then the dive bombers. One, two, three. Engage your core when you kick up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dive bombers. And then we go to the plank hopovers. One, two, three, four. Engage that core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, plank hopovers. One, two, three. Good. Okay, lunges. It is pouring off of me. One, we're going down to nine. Here's four, five. Here's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dive bombers. Weight is distributed in the fingers and the palms. Don't hang on the 
those shoulders. Press out of them, out of that chest, out of those shoulders. Here's six. Here's seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're gonna hold for those plank hopovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. And then we got the plank jack to the frog hop for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going back to twelve. Seven, eight. Nine. Back to 12 and down to eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Dive bombers. Oh, wipe the sweat out of my eyes. It's really pouring down. 11 of these. One, two, triceps, shoulders, core. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. This round, anyway. Plank hopovers. Two. Stay here, plank jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hovering, roll up. Oh. You feeling these? You should be. Take breaks when you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to 12, down to seven. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, eleven dive bombers. Pipe position. Hands shoulder width apart. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven. Okay, plank it. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack to frog hop. One, two, three, four, five, 
Engage that core. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hovering, crunch. Knee in. Okay. Eight, seven. Going to the dips next. Five, four, three, two, one. Take breaks when you need to. One, two, three, four, Eleven, twelve, 
dive bombers. Are your legs shaking? Mine are. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. Oh. Plank hop overs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jack. Frog hop. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Two more. Eight. Nine. Hovering. Crunch in. How are you feeling? Good? Should be breathing hard. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Crab. Dip with crab. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Roll over to plank toe taps and a frog hop. Press out of that chest. One. Two. Three. Engage the core. Four. Five. Six. Jacks with an overhead press. That's five. Ready? And we're going 12 to four. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. Now we go 12 down to four. Four, Lena's favorite. Pendulums. One of them anyway, right? Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dive bombers. One, two, three. I'm not cold anymore. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Plank hopovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jack to a frog hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight hovering crunches. 47 minutes. How you feeling? This is a long one today. You make it as short as you want. 
You don't have to go back down with us. Five, six, seven, eight, crab dance. Going back down is very cardio based because of all the jumps, the planks. Two, three, four. And if you don't want to jump, you can just do lunges. Five, six, oh, and more. Seven, roll over. Plank knee to a frog hop. Or plank toe tap, sorry. Two. Three. Four. Engage that core. Five. Six. Five overhead jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums, four. One, two, three, four. Back to those lunges. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dive bombers are next. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing those plank hop overs. Stay low in your plank. Don't let your hips sag, though. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jacks to a frog hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hover, crunch in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dips, dancing crab. One, two, Four, five, six, seven. Roll over. Plank toe tap to a frog hop. One, two. Engage that core when you pull those toes in. Four, five, six, jack with overhead press, almost done, one, two, three, four, five, pendulums, and we have those double duck burpees, we're going to three, remember, one, Two, three, four. 
One, two, walk, two, three, four, hop up. One, two, walk, two, three, four. One more. One, two, walk, two, three, four. Lunges, and down to two. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Dive bombers. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nine, ten, eleven, plank hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jack to frog hop. One, two, three, four.57 minutes. Oh, I feel good. I hope you do too. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dive bombers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Engage that core. Seven, I'm going to keep reminding you. Eight, nine. 10, 11, plank jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank jack, frog hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, oh. hovering, crunch in, oh. eight of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dip with dancing crab. Arms should be about tired. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to roll over after this one. Plank, toe tap. Frog jump. One, two, three, four, five. Here's six. Jumping jack with overhead press. One, two, three, four, five. Pendulums. We're at a minute or an hour. One, two, three, four. Double duck burpees. One, walk, two, three, four. Hot push up. Hop up, two, now walk, two, three, four. One, two, walk, two, three, four. Explosive push-ups, and then one snatch. One, two, Oh, one snatch. Take a break. Grab a drink. That was long, I know. You don't have to do the whole thing. Or you can. I guess if you're naughty, you go up. Uh, and then back down like we did. I guess I'm naughty, I don't know. Maybe I'm nice. Okay, grab a drink. Now, the cool thing about this one is I give you 12 exercises. You can always go on day 11 and count it down and start at 11 and work your way down. If you don't wanna go down the workout and back up, you can alternate it. Like the first day you can go one to 12 the second day, since there will only be 11 days, you could go 11 to one. The third day, you could go one to 10. The fourth day, you could go 
nine to one. You see what I'm saying? If you don't want to go up and down, if you don't have the time to do the entire workout, I just know my regulars like them long and hard, but I let you modify and you can stop after the first part. You can th even throw the, the second, the first part in, or the second part in the second day. You don't have to do it all in one day if you don't have the time or if you're a beginner and you're just starting out. Okay, we have abdominals to do. Whoopsie, hit the wrong thing. Now let me get this set up here. It's two, uh, X, or it's two, it's 10. Um, oh, that's right, I'm doing, this is the bonus abs. It's like a minute of mayhem for each one, okay? Because I think it was Olivia wanted longer sessions. So I'm gonna do a 10 second break and then a minute of each of these. And we're doing two rounds, only two rounds, you can do it. Uh, so 10, and then we're going a minute on these. Okay, and we are doing those five exercises. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So I'm gonna set the timer for 10, and we're going straight through. We're gonna repeat them. We're gonna do them one time through, and we're gonna keep repeating one more time. Okay, I have my stability ball. The first one, I am gonna use my sandbag on. Lena, I know you have dumbbells. You can do the dumbbells with it. I'll show you with the sandbag, and then I will, um, I'll show you with the dumbbells as well. It is a roll up to a get up. So, this one's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna show you, I gotta put that down so I don't ruin my tailbone. I'm gonna show you with the sandbag and I'll show you with the dumbbell. You're gonna take, I'm gonna do the sandbag, all right? You are going to hold it over your head. You're gonna roll up, you're gonna cross your legs, stand up, and then roll back down. Okay? If you have dumbbells or a ball, it doesn't matter, whatever you have, the weight will go over and press up. Okay, one more time. All right, you decide what weight you want to use. 10 second break, a minute. Grab your weight and get ready. One. Contract the abdominals. 
Reverse crunch. If you have a ball or a weight or anything that you want to put in your in between your legs, you can. It is not this. We are not swinging our hips up. You're crunching upper body and lower body. The legs are in the air. The lower back is pressed into the floor. It is a contraction in the abdominals. As you contract, your toes push up to the ceiling with your knees. It's a small movement. If you don't want to do the upper body, it would look like this. You're not pushing your hands into the floor and pushing your hips off the floor. You're contracting the lower abdominals. You're not pulling with your head, you're lifting with your chest and you're bringing the lower and the upper parts of the rectus abdominis together. Okay, ball. Pike, pike up to a knee rolling. Looks like this. Pike in, roll in. Pike in, roll in. If you don't have a ball, you would do them on the floor. You would do pike in, roll in. Pike in, roll in. Pike in, my mat's sweaty from my sweat, wet from my sweat. Oh, okay. <laughs> On your toes, in, roll in. Don't use your legs, use your abdominals. So don't rest your feet on the ball. Stay on your toes and engage your core. Whew. Plank, just a plank hold. We're gonna work on these planks. Remember I said form, press out of your shoulders, get in your plank position. And then you round, you hold your stomach in so your back rounds up but you press out of your shoulders so that the weight is in your palms as well as in your hands, okay? So you should be, your back should be flat with just a slight curve in it because you're holding your stomach in, all right? If this gets to be too much, come down to your elbows, but I want you in a neutral spine. Again, you want your back to be slightly rounded because you're holding your stomach in and you're pressing out of your shoulders. Don't sag into them like this and let it drop. Press out, press up and round your back slightly to press out of those shoulders. Woo. Back to those roll ups. Roll up, get up. Now, if you can't go all the way up, just stay at a roll up. Oh, oh 30 pounds is a killer.
Take breaks when you need to. If you need to go down to those forearms, go down to those forearms. If you need to drop down and take a break, drop down and take a break. Towel off. Uh, 
Okay, we're in a partial child's pose position. I am anyway. So drop your heels down to your butt and walk your hands out. Hold your abdominals in. Drop your elbows to the floor and your head to the floor. And release the shoulders, the upper back. Feel the stretch through the abdominals and feel that stretch in the quadricep muscles. Everything should be tired. Chest, back, arms, shoulders, abs, legs, everything. We did total body today. I tried to have an exercise for just about everything uh, to make that 12, the 12 exercises, the naughty or nice workout to make it a full body workout. Nice jump moves in there for the cardio. Walk the right hand over to the right, cross the left arm over. Drop that left arm over the, the hand, left hand over the right hand. Drop the head towards the floor, rest it on the right arm. Feel that stretch through the left oblique, up the lats, in the left hip. Then release it, walk the left arm over to the left, and the right arm crosses over. Feel that stretch in the right side. I felt my back pop. And release it. We're in this seated position. So what I want you to do is I want you to bring your left foot forward, keep your right leg back. Cross that right leg under. We're gonna do a runner stretch. So lower down to wherever you feel comfortable. If you're comfortable here and your right knee doesn't pop off the ground, stay here. If you can go down to your elbows or down to your back, go down, feel that stretch in the quadricep muscle as well as in the hip flexor. This muscle here that ties into the hip that if you don't stretch it, runners use it a lot uh, when, they're, when you're running and, you're, and we do it when we're lunging. But if you don't stretch it and it is over tightened, it pulls on your lower abdominals and that's why you get that rounded look and that pouch in the front because your hip flexors are too tight. So it strains your back. So you need to stretch them out when you're done working them. We're gonna cross that right leg over the left and we're gonna fold that left leg under. We're gonna stretch out that hip. Fire log pose. This one's the side that is always tight on me. So I gently, gently push down on the right, just a little bit, just apply a little bit of pressure if you need to, just to feel that stretch in the hip. Now, take that left leg out, cross that right leg over and twist around. Pull that right knee into the chest Sit up straight like there's a rod going through your back, a metal rod that won't let you bend. Hold your abdominals in. Walk the right hand back and look over that right shoulder. Deep breath, inhale. When you exhale, twist a little bit further behind you. Feel that stretch in the back and the shoulders. And release it, bring it front. Bring those feet, both of them out to the front. Walk the hands down the legs. You want the chest to lay across the quadriceps, the chin to the knee, neutral spine. Don't round the head, don't round the back. Just look forward, feel that nice stretch in the hamstring muscles. Hold that stomach in, okay? Make sure you're concentrating on training that stomach to stay in. All right, walk it back up. Now, right leg is gonna go under and the left leg is gonna go on top. Gonna to stretch out those hips, hip flexors. I am sweaty. I hope you all enjoyed the workout. I know it was long. You do what you can. And release it. The right leg is gonna come out and the left leg is gonna go under. You're gonna do that runner stretch, hip flexor stretch on this Left side, feel like right here in the hip flexors. Mine are super tight from standing and making cookies. And release it, walk it back up. 
cross that left leg over the right. Grab a hold of that left leg. Pull it into your chest. Sit up straight. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Twist around. Plant that left hand. Look over that left shoulder. And release it. Bring it back around to the front. Feet come back out. Come over. Grab those feet. Grab the balls of the feet. Grab the ankles. Grab the shins. And lower that chest down to the quads. Head goes out past the knees. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Lower it down. And walk the hands back up. Place the hands behind your butt. And we're going to do a forward facing plank. So you're going to raise up. I'm going to spread my hands a little bit. I want to feel this in my shoulders and my chest. You'll feel it pull through your shoulders and your chest. And release it. Come forward one more time. Deep breath, inhale, raise up. Exhale, blow it out and, lo and lower your body down to your legs. Walk your hands back one more time. Back, place them behind your butt. Raise up, feel that, chest, feel that stretch in the chest and the shoulders. stretch and release it lower it down one more stretch take those legs drop them over to the left arms go out to the side head looks over to the right feel that stretch right here in the obliques if you want to make it a little bit more of a stretch you can cross the feet and you can pull down so that you stretch out the hips as well as the obliques just make sure you're not lifting that right shoulder off the floor. Your legs might not go to the floor at this point. That's okay. If you don't want to cross them over and you just want to straighten out that right leg, straighten out that right leg and get a nice hamstring stretch. Feel that all the way through the glutes. Again, don't raise that right arm off the floor. Keep that grounded. Release it. Press the right leg over the left. Come up. Pigeon pose. Pull in on the left leg, take the elbow and press out on the right knee. And release it, drop the feet down. Now you can lower them to the right side, just straight out lower them, feel that stretch in the obliques. Or you can cross them and stretch it. Don't let that left arm lift off of the ground. You want to feel that pull through the hip and through the obliques on the left side. If you don't like crossing, you can take a hold of that toe, that left toe with the right hand, keep that left shoulder on the floor, and feel that stretch all the way down the hamstring, hip, glute, into the calf. And release it, roll it up, pigeon pose, figure four, cross that left leg over the right. Pull in under that right knee, Take that left elbow and push it into the left knee. Feel that stretch in the hip. If, if you can't feel it by pulling it in this way, you can apply, gently apply some pressure to the knee, to the left knee with your left hand. And release it. Drop those knees into the chest. Roll, just a couple rolls on your back. Hold it here, take those knees and roll them around, massage that back, going clockwise. Now reverse it and go counterclockwise. We're going to take those legs slightly apart and you're going to roll up and back down. Just a spinal massage. One more time. Roll up 
and you're all done. I hope you had a great workout. If you like it, thumbs up. I have other videos, check them out, mycrazyworkout.com. I will have the whole breakdown on the page so that you know what the exercises are. Have a great day, and um, I'm gonna try and do a bonus workout, so I'm gonna upload this one. I have a bonus workout that I wanna do uh, just so that I can upload it uh, for you for a, a later time, okay?